like I said, with, uh, when, there's, when there's no gi on, it's a lot harder to grab onto stuff. So you're going to have a really hard time bumping people off by just trapping their arms, right? unless they, they give you the, the overhead. Right? So remember, what you never want to let happen is let the guy's knees come up under your armpits. If he gets a high mount like this, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay? Now your hips don't really work. Okay? If the person does get their knees in that position, you need to sort of like bring your elbows down, put on your shoulders and try to get yourself back to a position where it hits will line up with your hips. Okay. From here, you want either hands on the hips or a frame, ideally you get a frame across the hips. Okay. So you just take your forearm, put it across the belt line, grab your own wrist and try to tuck your elbow under his knee. Okay. You don't want to be on the outside here. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm not, I'm not going to bump. If you got the leg break line, I need to keep the break line free. So I take out the side and free my leg. I use this one to free the other one. And then I drop my knee to the floor and use my knee to push his leg out. As I push his leg out, it makes his leg really light. So I'm able to trap his leg. So I start to um, push my knee out. I use my free leg to come over and trap the ankle. Trap the ankle and then use your leg. So don't, don't just try to. If his knee's really heavy on the floor, you're not going to be able to push it in. Okay? What you need to do is use your legs, pinch your knees together, and use your hips to move his leg. And then it's easy to push the leg down. Get an underhook, and we're going to get right back to full bone. Get that down on top, take a frame across the hips. Use your knee to push his ankle out. Okay? A lot of times as he pushes his ankle out, his foot just pops up and goes in. Um, if he steps up on that foot, it's going to be fairly easy. Remember what we did last week, I just bring my elbow and knee together. And we'll do the same thing we did last week. But right now we're going to work. I'm going to push his knee out, bring my far leg over to trap, pinch your knees, extend your body to trap the leg, get an underhook, and then you got to get, so I'm facing for the ceiling now, I get all the way on the other side. So now, when you need for, when you get back to your guard, don't just like, let go. You have a pretty good position with this underhook. So lock on, control your posture. Bring your legs up higher on his back so you can get some control. All right? One, two, three. So we're going to do the same, same basic escape. I need to push his leg out. One little uh, detail here. Sometimes it can be tough to reach over with your, with your heel. Everybody's got different sort of shaped legs, so sometimes their foot's like really tight to the floor and you can't get, can't get it off the floor. If you're having trouble with your heel, sometimes all you gotta do is bring your foot to the other side and use your toes to lift it up. All, right? all you gotta do is get the foot up a little bit so it's light and you can sneak your leg under. Right? So if for whatever reason you're, uh, you're using your heel and nothing's working, just bring your toes under, lift it up, and tap it. All right? Then, again, I extend my legs to make his knee light, I stuff it, and trap. I get the other hook. All right, so now, instead of going back to full guard, we're gonna get a body lock from the bottom. I wanna use this to come up, okay? So, everybody come over on this side so you see the neighbor. So I lock my hands, I wanna keep him tight. And then what I wanna do is sort of steering wheel my arms. So. The idea here is not to turn into his arm, because he's going to have this pretty tight around the neck. I'm going to sort of pull myself underneath. The way I do that is by jacking this elbow up. Keep getting on my side. Keep this elbow high. Like if I, if I keep the elbow high and I bring it down low, he can bring his elbow back. Bring his elbow back. And he can get, get the other hook again. Okay? As long as you keep this jacked up, he's going to have a really hard time getting under him. Right? So make sure you get onto your side, and then use your outside leg to hook his ankle. I'm gonna pull his knee out and push his his uh, pull his heel out and push his knee forward to turn his body at an awkward angle. From here to get up, uh, person on top always wizard the arm from here. So now I'm gonna cuff his hip. I'm gonna get up on my elbow. When I get up on my elbow, make sure that you don't bring it like this. All right? You can just grab it and pull it off from under you. All right? so when I get up my elbow, I put my head down, I put my elbow back by my hip. Right? Then it's very easy. I'm gonna keep my legs locked. Pop up to my knees. From here, you can go back to the body lock and drive them over, or you can just knee tap and take them down. So start 
here. Track the foot. Get the underhook, right? So now once you get the underhook, a lot of times the person will keep tight around your neck. So this is a, this is what you need to be. This is why the body lock works really well from here. Make sure that uh, my left elbow comes down and in, my right elbow jacks up, and I'm sort of shimming myself down and under. Like that. Keep the elbow high, right? Get on your side. Yeah, person on top is gonna whiz your arm. Use your out leg, outside leg to hook their ankle and pull it out. Just trap it. Right? From here, I'm gonna get up my elbow. So I'll cut the hip, bring my elbow back, up my knees, here. switch the position of your feet from this position. There's, there's a billion techniques to do from here, from here, from here, from here. There's a, tons of configuration to your legs. But you just want to make sure it's secure while you have the body lock. And I use that leg held in place to help get me out of where I was. He was in my arm. Now, when you want to come up from here, most important thing is to bring that elbow up high so I keep them, keep them off balance. And then, a lot of you guys are having trouble coming up from here. So watch, I'm gonna take my top ankle and come over and hook his ankle. If I need to, I can open my knees now. So I'm gonna take my other foot out and I pull his heel back and that turns his knee in a weird way. So it makes him really off balance and makes it easy for me to get up. Once I have his knee in that position, I just hook the hip, pull my elbow back, and it's very easy to pull that leg out. If if you try to just keep the leg locked and come up, you'll, you'll be stuck, right? So make sure from here, jack your elbow up, use the top leg, pull his ankle up, twist it. Makes it really easy to pop up. Right? You try to always remember, if you, when you lock somebody in place for something, so from half guard, if I do this and I lace his leg, and I tie him up, so he's tied up and I'm tied up. He can't do much, I can't do much. I can hold him here, but I can't do much. When you want to like attack and be mobile, you need to open your, your legs up and do these different hooks and knee positions. So this is good for holding on to something, but it's not good for moving. So when you want to move, you're going to need to learn to use your feet in different, different ways. Okay? One, two, three. So once we're in this this position, okay? Uh, oh, no, oh, no. uh, remember, a couple things that'll that'll make this work almost 100% of the time is making sure that your elbows are in the right position. So when I'm when I'm on my side here, I don't want to like be straight on with him. He can he can flatten me out from here. What I want to be is like see how I'm keeping him off balance with my elbow up high. That's going to help a lot. Second thing is going to help is bringing this foot over. When you trap his ankle, try to pull it like all the way to your, your heel to your butt. You know what I mean? Like try to curl it in tight. The more you twist his knee, the easier it's going to be for you to come up, right? So those two things, elbow position, trapping the ankle tight, it's going to make it really easy to come up. Hook the ankle, hook the hip, come up. And then a lot of times, like, uh, it's nice to, to tap the knee and take him down, but it rarely works. I mean, I got it pretty good. Right, so there's no way I can even, if he's pressing down my shoulder here, there's no way I can even reach me because I need my hand on the mat. Right? <clears throat> so what I'm going to do from here is my right hand is going to go palm up. I'm going to limp while I'm out of here. So don't try to pull it straight away. Don't try to like yank it this way. Okay? Um, all you have to do is turn your palm up, bring your hand behind his butt, and your hand will come right out. Okay? When you get to this position, turn your palm up. Scrape the back of your hand across the butt, and then swing it back to the other side of his hip. Immediately reach, I already have his leg trapped in a really strong position, so I just bring my knee in, seatbelt grip, and take the back. So, person with his arm, make sure you get that high elbow position. Bring my ankle over, trap the knee. Make sure you're in a, in a sort of strong position. One other thing that'll make this work is trying to push the guy over. 
That'll make him push back. So when I yank my arm out of here, remember, don't pull straight in. Bring your hand behind the butt. Air guitar here. Shoot the arm over. Dodge me in. Take the butt. You got it? One, two, three.